Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at ya with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void! Today, gonna be a match between Clem and Serral here on Oxide the Ladder Edition. Haven't seen these two matched up recently on my channel, so this is from Dreamhack Fall. Top right, we've got Clem, the blue Terran player, and bottom left we have Serral, the red Zerg player. An elite matchup for sure. Man, five years ago, could you imagine that two European players would be an elite matchup in StarCraft 2? I couldn't imagine it, but I'm glad it happened, right? Did the region lock do its job? I kind of feel like it did. Right? Because before the region lock, Koreans would fly to every single tournament and win them, and basically there was no motivation to get better. But once the region lock occurred, Koreans come in, couldn't come into a European tournament and just dominate. So, players like Serral, players like Showtime, were in, uh, incentivized to up their game, and in up their game they did, that is for sure. Serral world champion, Raynor world champion, Clem I think is gonna be a world champion. Hmm. So the region lock was good. I was undecided on it when it was announced, but I kind of, I kind of feel like it's good. Korea is still you know, still at the top of their game, but it just allowed European players to join them up at the top. Whew. Anyway, Reaper Expand here from Clem. Alright, so I've been dreading this Reaper name for a long time now, ever since it was posted to my uh, comments, right? So, it's X-A-E-X-12, I guess? Once again, how do you pronounce Elon Musk's child's name? No idea! I think that's the intent. I don't think that the intent was for people to very easily be able to pronounce it. So, we're going to call him J12. That's as good as I can do here. Is there a way to actually officially, uh... <laughs> officially pronounce it? Don't know. So, after his dad forcibly sent him to the Mars, J12 joined the Reaper Corps to take out his anger on probes, SCDs, and drones. Hold on a second. Is that, I, thought, I thought it was a girl. <laughs> Elon Musk child. Anyway, Reaper shenanigans. Yada, 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 yada. How to pronounce J12. Uh, uh, Musk has five other kids. Oh, this is the one with uh, Grimes. What's her name? Blah, blah, blah. Newborn baby. Blah, blah, blah. It's the elven spelling of AI, which is shorthand for artificial intelligence. Oh. Well, there you go. How do you say it, said Joe Rogan, in this article I'm reading. It's just X, and then the A E is pronounced like Ash, then A12. A12 is my contribution. <laughs> what? Could fall foul of state rules in California, which stipulate that names could only use the 26 alphabetical letters of the English language. Well... Man, it's a boy. You're right. Okay. We <laughs> had to get pretty deep. Had to get pretty deep into the article to see that. Anyway, not that it really matters, but just for accuracy's sake, I suppose. So, Barracks, Barracks, Factory, 3rd CC, sub 3 minutes. 3rd base is almost done for Clem. Uh, J12 here, run away after getting 2 kills, which is pretty good. 2 links down, sure. Why not? It's Clem we're talking about here, right? This kid is amazing. We really, really... Really have high expectations for Clem. He's doing amazing in the EU, which is, again, where players like Serral and Raynor do live, so his TVZ is top-notch. He's beaten both of these players pretty consistently. He knows them. He's just He plays against them a lot. He knows their tendencies. He knows their timings. And no matter how good of a player you are, or how possibly, you know, unpredictable a player you could be, there are still tendencies. And then being aware of those can be very important stuff. So sees the starport, sees the third CC, great scout from Serral. Knows what's up here. I did cast a Serral versus Clem on Friday last week, and it was an amazing match. Like, did I, wait, did I say, I meant Rogue. Did I, Rogue versus Clem last week. Watch that. If you're a TVZ fan and you want to see how Clem does against Rogue, like, by all means, check it out. Because I love watching Clem and TVZs. Maybe, I don't know more than anything else right now, but it is. Uh, it's a lot of fun watching Clem play in TVZs. He's just, he's everywhere. He really forces Zerg players to up their game by keeping pressure on them all over the map all the time. God, that makes it out of there with exactly 5 HP, which means one more hit from a Zergling would have killed it. Okay, so this is where Serral has some choices. Does he take a fourth base now? Does he try to put some pressure up with three bases? 
The answer seems to be no fourth base yet. But Bainley Nest on the way at about five minutes to deal with marine pressure that is sure to be coming. And then Clem's third base is landing. So we're three base to three base right now, which is not where reserved players want to be. But they can be behind a little bit in the first five, six, seven minutes. But then they really start to explode after that. Okay, so it does take a fourth base on the left side. Based on the creep spread, I thought for sure this would be a better option. But uh, I guess it's a little bit further away from the Terran to get to. Uh, Zerglings. Oh, that's perfect. Zergling spotting. And yeah, Serral understands Clem's tendencies as well. Like, he knows potential flying paths here for these medivacs. And, uh... Zergling dies, but performed his duty, that's for sure. Alright, man. So just darting on in here with the Marines. Gonna kill a couple creep tumors. Target fire those down. Try to kill a queen, but there's too many of them. The transfuse is too good. And he's just running off creep, and that's fine. So I was like, if you want to be off creep, but by all means, live off creep. If you never come under creep, you can't kill me. So that's fine with me. Get off the creep. Call it a day. Not oh, trying to make an overseer here. No. Had to cancel that. Overlord goes down. Does Clem know there's not a base down here? Maybe this is a trap. Maybe Clem is expecting there to be hatchery and there's not. And he's mad. He's like, ah, oh, Sarah, you took the left side base instead. How dare you? But Tumor's dying anyway. Zergling comes into the third base. That's why you have a Hellion or two there. Make sure they can't kill any of them SCVs. And yeah, fourth base is just about done here from Serral. A Widow Mines out. Yep, Clem, oof, he knows. He knows about the power of using Widow Mines. That's for sure. Sneaky Banelings coming up the right side here too. Working on some tropical hooks. It's not quite there yet. It'll take a couple more minutes. And so far, Clem hasn't really been able to do too much damage, I don't think, to Serral. He's killed a couple Creep Tumors and a couple Lings here and there. Maybe a Queen has died, but... That's about it. Is he going to slow Baneling? Is he waiting for centrifugal hooks? It is, you know, about 20 seconds away at this point. So, is he going to be... I think he's going to be patient. Yep, there we go. 13. Oh, nice pickoff. Did he get that Widow Mine? I think he got a Widow Mine there. That was great. That was fantastic play. Tough micro for sure. If anyone's ever tried that as a Zerg player, you know how hard that is. When <laughs> a Terran's got an army protecting these Widow Mines to pick them off like that. I don't even know how he did that. That was dark magic for sure. So a couple drones die as Widow Mines get in to this fourth base. Widow Mine heading out. So Difficult Hooks is done. Banelings start their roly poly roly poly play. And oh no! Okay. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good split, but nine SCVs go down. Okay, that was pretty good. So four drones die to Widow Mine shenanigans. Is this is still here? Medivac is still here. I'm gonna fire again. Already has one kill. Ugh, gonna get two and then get out of there with a the medevac support. Nicely done. Switching the right side, Clem. Queen down. Urgh, transfuses. Can only do so much. And the queen does go down. The rest of the army shows up and Clem gets the heck out of there. Banelings cruising in again. Uh, Widowmine says, no, no Banelings. See, if you're worried about Banelings as a Terran player, a Widowmine or two in the area they'll come from is actually really good. Can really stop any SCVs from dying. Like, Banelings clumped up like that are actually really easy for Widowmines to just crush for free, right? Oh, like that! <laughs> just exactly like that. Exact the Mundu. Like that. Dude, Clem, seriously, though. This kid, he's for real. He's macaron his absolute face off. He's got a fourth base coming up, upgrading to a planetary, I'm sure, very soon. And it's, it's the Widow Mines, right? Without the Widow Mines, this is a much different game. Widow Mines are getting some nice hits. They're not winning the game outright, but they are doing some good work for sure. Banelings to the south come up. Oh! Canceling a few of them. Very dangerous play from Clem. Banelings get some nice hits off. Widow Mines do end up getting picked up out of the ground there, and Clem is forced to retreat again. So Serral hangs on to his fifth base. Very nicely done, but Clem's fourth base is rolling. <laughs> Banelings are up, coming around the right side. Uh, there's enough here to chase that away. So yeah, Clem's going to get the heck on out. And yeah, Lings try to jump on this base. It's not a planetary yet, but Clem knows that's something Serral likes to do, and he's ready for it. Yeah, Banelings firing on one unit is not great. Oh, yeah, Banelings did manage to make it in. Really? Okay. So they just Baneling busted their way through. Didn't go past the Widowmine this time. And killed eight SCVs. That's cool. Totally acceptable. So, number of SCVs killed is 17. Uh, five drones have died here, too. But, I mean, I don't know. It's 73 to 76 workers. It's not even that big of a deal. Uh, 
Trying to chase Clem back again here. Is doing a pretty good job of it, but this is an attack that's going to be extremely dangerous for Serral. Oh, hang on, hang on. He has some Lings and Banes in the vicinity and going to force this guy out. Okay, so that group is dead. This group... Ooh, some bur oh, burrowed banes, though. Burrowed banes. We do like a burrowed baneling hit, that's for sure. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. No, not really worth it yet, I don't think. Maybe there? Uh, it's two small groups to really be worth right now. Does pick off that widow mine. Widow mine gets a hit off, but then ends up dead as well. Chased and chased and chased and chased and chased, and I think Serral's done a pretty good job keeping Clem off the creep. Which, if you. <laughs> I mean, if you want to talk about TVZ in a nutshell, it's kind of keep the Terran off the creep, you know? And he's doing it. He just shoves him off the creep, pulls back. Shoves off the creep, pulls back. Oh, he had su did such a good job keeping units down here. Creep spread isn't actually pushing up this way as much as I think I would like to see from Serral, but he's doing a million other things right now. His EPM is like 900 currently. So yeah, Widow Mine fires, the rest of the army comes in, everybody dies, and pulls back to the safety of the creep. These tumors are probably going to die, because they're not burrowed yet. They're not actually below the ground, which is where they want to be. Bottom right base for Serral coming up here. Uh, is there another base? Yeah, Clem trying to expand here, but there's a burrowed ling, so he's building just outside of the burrowed ling location. Wings, high grounded it. Okay, so what are we doing? Lurkers. The further tech here from Serral is going to be those lurkers. Yes. All right, all right. Let's see if we can get those out in time to deal with this. Once again, you got to give credit to Raynor for making this uh, the lurker thing work against Terran. Nobody was doing it until Raynor started, and everybody was like, oh, I guess this is viable. Cool. Super, super fantastic. Awesome. Blech. Okay, so forcing a pickup there. That was a little bit dicey. I think maybe... And then unloading in the bottom right here to Clem. I'm telling you, this dude, he's just everywhere. He's going to force a cancel on that sixth base, which is just beautiful for him. Uh, this way. Did he cancel? What? I don't know what happened over on that right side. Marines, Marauders, Widow Mines, Creep Tumors dying. Another scan with more tumors dying, probably. Trying to catch Serral unawares, but nope. He's here. The Marauder count is a little bit heavy, but I guess absorbing Baneling hits, are, that works. Totally works. Burrowed Bane connection there. And that's actually enough so the Queens can hold based on that Burrowed Baneling hit. Ah! Enough Marines died. That's hilarious. Widow Mine. Ah, <sighs> oh, so many Banelings down. That is just... It's a, such a simple trick for Terran, but it's most effective. You just... You have a Widow Mine somewhere back there. Marines running, 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 and then the Widow Mine fires, and if you're lucky, it hits, you know, six or seven Banelings. Incredibly, incredibly cost-efficient stuff. Ghost Academy on the way to deal with the lurkers that are on the way here. So now suddenly Serral's ahead on tech. Dude, this burrowed ling has been absolutely shutting things down for like four minutes now. You're not going to scan? You don't have any scans available? I mean, is he just using his energy perfectly? He's actually going to build a missile. There's the scan. Okay, I was going to say, is he going to build a missile turret before scanning it? Man, ridiculous stuff. What am I? Eight drones go down. This base has been pretty widow mine dropped, hasn't it? Hasn't it, though? Alright, gonna try to go for an attack on this planetary. Yeah, widow mines do get a couple hits there, and actually, wow, kind of preventing just the walk up to the planetary. He builds three command centers in front of it. That's amazing. Holy smokes. That completely shut that down. Ling attack coming into the not planetary base yet. Turns out one liberator is not enough to prevent, you know, all of your SCVs from dying here. Widow Mine does fire. It is plus two attack and adrenal on these wings. They get wiped out. Trying to go down the ramp. They should have just stayed up here and done some hit damage at the command center, but it's all good. Serral's sixth base is coming up in the bottom right hand corner right now. I mean, this is. My, hit that like button if you haven't already. I just. The like button helps the algorithm know that I'm here, recommends my channel to more people. I'm here five times a week with StarCraft 2 content. I don't miss days. Baneling Bomb! Burrowed Baneling Bomb finally connects. Serral sees his chance and takes it. Massive, massive play there. And Ling's rolling. Roll 
Rolling up. Can he get it? Uh, EMP is on the Vipers. Nicely done. Great EMP is on the Vipers. Everybody retreating here in Zergville, but Clem does not want to go on to Dat Creep. Woo, top left here. cyril has got a Broadling there, and the only available base remaining on this map. Oxide doesn't have a million bases to take. You can't get up to A bases each here. Uh, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven seems to be... Well, it's six each, so yeah, seven... The max for one player. Not the max. Six each. Six each it is. This burrowed Ling's not even in position. Oh, so he scans. He was... Yeah. That's interesting. So the burrowed Ling's out of range of the Widow Mine. I wonder if that was intentional by Serral or not. But getting adaptive talons. Getting plus two missile attack. A lurker manages to get back here on Clem's right side. Three o'clock base. And is getting a couple kills. Seven to be exact. Ah, Lings jump on the not planetary yet, and they do take it down. Big time hits from those Lings. They all die, but they have done a good job for sure. What am I? Oh, Liberators. Double Liberator down here in the bottom right. Does end up taking out a couple drones, and they just reposition. So the Spores have to reposition, and then the Liberators reposition, and then the Spore repositions, and it's such a fun game. Everybody loves playing that game. Ton of lings here. What a mine fire dead. Lurker's getting some nice spines off. This is a good position. He decides to back on it anyway. Serral being very patient. Top left base. It's now an orbital. It can't be a planetary because emergency situation. But this creep spread up the right side would be pretty nice. These are actually idle drones here from Serral. So if you ever have idle drones in your games, like you watch your own replays and you're like, ah, I had some idle drones for like five minutes. Guess what? Serral does the same thing when he's playing against people his level. Oh, Medivac down, and Widowmind's not really accomplishing much. So that was pretty good. Out of Serral, indeed. Income tab says, living in Serral's land, but every time a mule bunch drops, that pops it up for Clem. Link it into this top base, but enough army here to defend it. The orbital does not go down this time, and then Serral decides it is time to move. Parasitic bomb, let's go. Oh, abducting the Liberators in this planetary is dead. Fairly well. I mean, Missile Turret's getting some nice hits off. Liberators actually aren't dead here, which is kind of hilarious. But 11 SCVs down and a Planetary down, too. Bunch of Broadlings in here in range of a Missile Turret, which means they're visible, so... Ow! Widowmine kills most of them, but killing Missile Turrets is a... Sure. It's a fine thing to do. Steady targeting! And this is where Creep Spread down the right side would be nice. I'm not sure that Serral's even really tried to do it down here at all. Oh my gosh, Lings... Oh, picking up 15 SCVs down... Can Clem hold this? Brrr. Lings, Bane Lings. Oh, big time hits on the Ghost, but they can survive because they don't take bonus damage from Banes. Actually, continuing to push down here is Clem. He's going to get this hatch. These drones are hiding, but hiding can only do so much for you. Bottom right, six base goes down for Serral. Clem's top left base is also completely dead. The drone massacre uh, matching the SCV massacre we've been seeing over the last minute or so. Dude, is this game getting an epic tag? Oh, no, I don't know, man. It's 183 to 100 supply? Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe this is just Serral going to die. He's making 26 Zerglings. He doesn't have any money. Neither does Clem. Clem doesn't have a big bank he's working with either right now. Dude, that bottom right base dying was brutal. Also, free, well, free Zerglings is also bad. Widowmine finally kills the two Zerglings. 23 SCVs have died. So, yeah, Clem's income can't be super happy. He's got mules. By that, I mean he's got... He does not have extra orbitals, though. Sometimes at this stage of the game, we start getting the extra orbital. Dude, this game is... Uh, I mean, Lings are just trying to get as much value as they can. Trying to keep Clem on this side of the base, or this side of the map as much as he can. So that he can maybe... Oh, no. Rebuilding down there would be really nice, but he's back up to Lurkers and Banelings. He's still down about 70 supply, which is super bad. Yes, obviously. Clem's got the right side base back. He's got his top left base back, too. That income's starting to creep. There you go. Getting as high as it's been in the last 10 minutes in favor of Clem here. Lings rolling in. A friendly fire widow mine shot on the Banelings would actually be kind of incredible. Uh, <laughs> but the planetary fire in that distance. Does he have high sec auto tracking? Of course he does. Uh, he does have the high sec auto tracking. 194 to 107 supply, though. Bottom right base is not happening for Serral today. Clem is just absolutely crushing it. Kills it. Forces a cancel, actually. So a bit of a refund here from Serral. But, okay, he's got some lurkers. He's got some banelings. But the steady targeting means the lurkers are not doing as well. Banelings trying to get the ghosts, and they do. But it's not enough. And Clem is your winner. Wait, hold on a second. 
Feels a little premature. Is that all he had? Hit that like button though. Nice job, Clem. I just need to see real quick. Bailing, 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 hit, hit, hit. Okay, so we hit, you know. The ghosts pretty much all die. I mean, I guess they're... Well, maybe not. Maybe there are five of them here. But what's this? I guess the army. We need to look at that one, right? Ten lurkers, six banelings. I don't know. Premature? It kind of feels like it's premature a little bit. Whatever. It's fine. Clem, the master. Look at this. He finally breaks out of this channel that he's in. Pew, pops up to have a huge income advantage over Serral. He's got his third base rolling. Got that top left base rolling. Serral's income is basically these two bases, which are not super healthy because he's had them for a very long time. So, this, yeah, this base was key. No creep spread up the right side really hurt Serral for sure. And then just consistent Widowmind connections all throughout the game was really, really good. Really good for Clem. I say this every time, but if you're a Terran struggling in TVZ, use Widowminds. You're going to get some really nice trades. It's just, it's just what it is. It's maths. It's economics. On the other side, I mean, killing a planetary and a command center and 57 SCVs is pretty good from Serral, but losing 40 of your drones uh, ended up losing 41,000 resources total compared to 28,000 for Clem. Like, that is just a ratio that is extremely hard to overcome if you're a Zerg player playing against a Terran as good as Clem is, which, you know, he's, he's really good, you guys. <laughs> if you don't believe in Clem yet, you really should. So, GG, well done to the youngin'. We will, I think we'll wrap this up here, but that's going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself.